Okay, we're going to talk about death. <clears throat> uh, let's look at it from a common sense point rather than from a belief point. <sighs> so let's look at the word. Um, and the letters within the word D D E A T H <clears throat> D for direction E for earth A for all T for team life H for Haven. When we die, our body goes back to the dust of the earth. Every one of us is equal and one in that regard. Some may take a lot more years before the body turns back to the some um, with regards to the way <clears throat> your body is processed after um, after death then it converts back to the dust. Uh, longer or shorter but it will eventually go back to the dust of the earth if we look at the what happens after uh, what happens when we die when the body dies the body systems like the cir circulatory system the respiratory system stops functioning and the brain stops functioning for some for many reasons it can be an accident it can be disease in my case it's from cancer that I'm walking right now. In 2008, I was diagnosed with um, cancer, fourth stage cancer, and I'm, I was facing death. So let's put it back here. Let's look at it. Um, the fear that is that I can see is I don't know about myself and I don't know where I'm where I'm going to and even the person that I um, um I am trusting that will be there, may not be there. There's a maybe 0 0.00001 one chance it won't be there because I don't know the person and it was from a point of, you know, um, common sense that if I... And the information there, if there is something that is 
missing in that information in that book that I subscribe to I can be facing a reality that I am not prepared to face when I die so really what I'm facing is um, not knowing about myself not really understanding what life is what death is plus the fear that goes into that but really as we look at the letters the direction the direction e earth a all t team life h a haven um, we can see that the yeah, I'm, the body is going back to the earth and that's a fact that I can see um, there are <clears throat> There are many things that I don't know at that point. But the fear is really the one that, the fear of not knowing myself. Hi, Sajid. Thanks for joining. It's the one that's really um, on my face. So I did my um, homework. I was able to be reintroduced back to myself because I'm facing um, also the fact that I will be alone when I, if I die. It's a fourth stage cancer, so I'm like, okay, I better know what death is. And looking at it now, at that time, it was more of forgiving myself for the fears that I had so that I have, I can decide properly which direction I'm going into. Am I going into chemotherapy or radiation, which the doctor advised, or am I just going for surgery, which to me is... Uh, a more um, more like commonsensical at that point because uh, I don't know what chemotherapy is I don't know what radiation is but what I know is my body is in a lot of stress and so it cannot take any more stress uh, it feels like there's a scratching going on inside my body which I cannot actually stop it's something like that but that's just um, an approximation of what I feel within me at that point and because of this scratching that's going inside my body um, one little um, irritation from the outside world would um, get me irritated. Irritated. So the mind is also the one that I had to struggle with. So I, at that point, um, forgiveness ha helped me with the mind part of the fear part. The decisions that I have to make in terms of what the doctor is trying to tell me to do is where common sense 
Amen. So I cannot have any um, clouded thinking. I so I cl I cleared everything and looked at things clearly. And with that scratching going on inside me, uh, that that feeling that there is something scratching all the time within me. Um, it's difficult to do that, but I, I assisted myself in clearing the way to have common sense in my decisions, because I have a lot of deciding to do. I have to decide, you know, whether or not I'm going to have chemotherapy or not and uh, the doctors advised different things different doctors advised chemotherapy first some the other one advised radiation first so I re it really boils down to who I am and because I'm separated from the whole that is life I separated myself from the whole that is life I'm now I'm now facing a point of uh, life being life is being with family and friends and death is me without my family and friends alone you see so I also forgive that and come to a point where okay let me just deal with what's going on right now and that actually helped me decide to go the uh, surgery route and I made sure that I communicated with the surgeon that he would take everything uh, all the cells all the cancer cells out uh, as per the, what I learned is that the surgeons normally don't do that because they're scared to be sued because um, people who they've done this to uh, later on complained about being disfigured so I assured the doctor that I will not do that that he has my support to remove all the cancer cells then I can deal with what with whatever will happen you know and so I also looked at death from a common sense perspective, if the person that I believe will be there will not be there, I'm in big trouble. So there, there's this 0 0.000001 chance. So I had to walk back and look at what the common sense is in terms of when my body stops um, functioning the circulatory system stops the brain activity stops what is common sense so what well my body will go back to the dust okay um so I know that what is the part that I don't know the part that I don't know is really I questioned even that uh, and mostly what I did is when because I don't know what will happen after that I believed I don't know 
um, because I did not really do my homework uh, within common sense, find out and have a look. Uh, I went into believing this, believing that. I even tra- I even traveled from one uh, school of thought to another. So many of them, you know. But the fact is, the body is going back to death. What about the mind that is also me? Um, well, I know that the mind uses energy that the body produces. So if the body is not there, the mind is not going to work, you see. Um, I know that because when I stopped eating one day, I mean, in the hospital one day, um, they asked me to go on a fast for 11 days and I was uh, just having IV or intravenous um, support um, I can't think I can't I used to meditate before and now I, I have stopped um, I can't even think of um, the the mantra which I meditated on you see so I know that um, when I die the mind stops so then it's just the body going back to the dust of the earth the breath that is me wh- where will that air go but here you see so I brought back to the here to the earth so the direction e earth a all t team life h haven death that those are the letters within the word it's really telling us it's going back to the earth you see so then i'm relieved i'm relieved to know that there is nothing that I don't know. I mean, there are parts of it, the nitty gritties behind that, that I have to figure out and I look at. But the main point is, there is nothing to worry about. But because the body is going back to the earth and the breath is going back to the earth, we better bridge a haven on earth. You see, that's why the last letter in the word death is H, is haven. D, direction, E, earth, A, all, D, team life, H, haven. So, uh, there is this responsibility that we should... um, live as who we are and sort out the earth and bridge a haven on earth. I'll leave you with that. Thanks for joining.